we took a look at the SSD range from Qi Technology. Cinema 5D at NAB 2018 is brought to you by B&H, the professional source for all your video needs. CVP, your one-stop shop for cine, video, photo, and more. Manfrotto, imagine more. Sigma, the art in every lens. Hi, this is Nino from Cinema 5D. I'm here at NAB 2018 at the G Technology booth. Um, here with Matt. Hi, Matt. How are you? Hello, Nino. Yeah, great. Great to see you. Thanks for coming. Great to see you too. So you finally announced a bunch of new SSD products that I personally have been waiting for a while. Uh, can you give us the rundown? Yeah, yeah. So this is a great year for us. I mean, we're excited here. We're in the Western Digital booth. We're G Technology, but what we've done is we've taken technology from every corner of this really big corporation to build some of the hottest SSDs we can. Not a lot of people realize this, but Western Digital actually has more patents than everybody except for Google and Apple. And so we can leverage all this great technology for our evil purposes to create delicious SSDs for people that do a lot of big video stuff. So the first one I want to talk about is G Drive Mobile Pro SSD. So like its little brother, it's got a great aluminum core inside which protects that SSD from stuff, but more importantly, it bleeds out the heat as fast as you can add it. And so with that, we get a great sustained write speed. Um, and in this case, the reads are at 2800 megabytes a second because it's NVMe SSD, and the writes come in at around 2200 megabytes a second. So the difference between those two is mostly the write speed, not the size, I mean the, the storage size? All right, this is 500, one and two terabytes. Oh. This one is only going to be 501 at launch, and then of course new capacities will start okay. to come out. So the difference is the speed. Yeah, and actually the, 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 what you're seeing in difference in size, it really comes down to the performance. As you write to an SSD, it gets hot. And what we wanted to do was add more aluminum so that we never have to throttle the performance and it stays rock steady at the 2,800 megabyte a second speed. And it's waterproof or? So our little one is waterproof, crush proof, drop proof. The big one, unfortunately, there's no such thing as a waterproof Thunderbolt 3 connector. And so you can still get abusive with it, you can still drop it, you can run over it with a pickup truck, but I would not go diving with it. <laughs> All right, so what's this one? So this one's also awesome. Uh, this is the G-Drive Pro SSD. Now the thing that's great about this is it, it, it does take power from the wall, so if you look on the back here we have power. We do also have two Thunderbolt 3 ports, so I can daisy chain that. But what makes this very special is the SSD inside. This is an enterprise grade NVMe SSD. And what that means is it has an incredible endurance. Traditional SSDs, you measure their lifespan in terabytes written. You can read from them unlimited, but you can only write so many times to it. Where a traditional SSD is 500 terabytes written, this is up to 14,000 terabytes written. And so if you're a video editor and you're really sitting at a workstation, and you're gonna spend all your days doing that, this is the SSD you want. It comes in capacities ranging from 960 gigabytes up to 7.68 terabytes. Well, that's a lot of storage for such a relatively small drive, I think. Like it's, I mean, only a few years ago, or actually quite recently, like six terabytes would be the limit on a normal three and a half inch HD, right? Yeah. So, so it's amazing, right? I mean, we're, we're again leveraging all these deep pockets of technology inside this big company to find the best pieces to use them in these different ways. And so we have incredibly fast and incredibly rugged. We have this one that's just got an in incredible read speed and in an incredible endurance for that other use case. Um, and it's also that high capacity, so you really could work on big projects. I mean, in theory, uh, there are several SSDs in here, right? Or is it just one? This is one really big SSD. Okay, wow. But we do have another product that is a whole bunch of SSDs working together in RAID, uh, which brings us to the G-Speed Shuttle SSD. And actually, of all of the SSDs we've got, I, I do love my little guys, but this one is actually my favorite. Um, and there's a few reasons for that. The G-Speed Shuttle SSD is awesome because it uses eight of these little SATA SSDs inside. You can pull them out. Uh, because there's eight SSDs running in RAID, I get 2,800 megabyte a second reads and 2,800 megabyte a second writes. It's incredibly fast. It stays redundant. As you can see, you can pull the SSDs out in the future if we ship four TB SSDs or other high caps, I can replace those. If I wanted to, I could put in an EV bay adapter and have an EV workflow running onto SSDs. So you just take two of them out and put one EV bay adapter in? That's right. And we're just about to start uh, selling the, the bare EV bay adapters as well. And so users can purchase this, buy one of those, and be able to change this if their workflow requires that. So it's a fantastic product. It's serviceable. It's redundant. It's just as fast at reading as it is at writing. 
So of course, it has a handle. It's quite light, uh, right? Because they, it's quite light because I guess the SSD are light, SSDs are much lighter than the hard disk. That's exactly right. So when it comes time to carry that, of course, this will be a lot easier. You can take a little bit more abuse than you could a spinning disk model, um, you know. But this one is great. So I, I love the G Speed Shuttle SSD. It's going to be available in 8 TB and 16 TB. So in, in practical terms, when you tell me throughput numbers, input output, it doesn't mean as much as telling me how many Ks, how many uncompressed raw, or compressed raw, and how much resolution can I get through this thing uh, to my computer. So, so with 2,800 megabytes a second, um, you know, first of all, I can move a terabyte in about seven minutes. And so when it comes time to just trucking data, that's very fast. Uh, but 2,800 megabytes a second, I mean, if I'm shooting, uh, you know, red 8K footage with, a, you know, a, a decent compression, I can probably fit uh, eight or ten streams of that inside of an NLE without having to worry about slowdown or low bandwidth. So, I mean, it's tremendously fast. Um, and really, it, it depends on what you're doing with, with ProRes RAW coming out, of course, which is sort of the new big thing. Uh, we're eager to get these back and, and try that out, but we expect we're going to have plenty of bandwidth. And really, at this point, the 2800 megabytes a second is, is about doing things quicker and handling these big workflows. Maybe it's VR so that you've got you know, six camera systems all trying to come together. Uh, for people that want to shoot 4K and RAW and all these other really high bitrate content, this is a great way to do that without feeling the sting of, of really big data. And the, and the SSD shuttle, I assume, uses the same enterprise class uh, SSDs that are in here, so, or? Uh, you know, it's actually pretty interesting. We use a, a desktop class SSD because of the performance on this. These are OEM grade SSDs, and this is an enterprise grade SSD. And so we're taking different types of technology that have different types of benefits. They all have a five-year warranty, and in all situations, they're going to work fine for all the years that people need them to. Um, but they're just optimized differently. You know, and when it comes time to enterprise drives versus desktop drives, very different conversation than when we get to SSD where reliability isn't even a problem. It's really just choosing the right type of flash for the right application. All right, thank you, Matt. That's very interesting. And uh, thanks everybody for watching. This is Cinema 5D at NEB 2018 and stay tuned to the site for all news about the show.